Okay. Okay. So part one. Okay, being bored. What do you do when you are bored? Bored. Um. If I am bored, um, I usually. Um, I usually trying to enjoy myself as um, um, like for example, if I am just at home, uh, I'm doing household chores. I want to um, um, I want to uh, clean the house mm -hmm. and if um, I have some um, clothes to laundry, I, I need to I, I will wash it. Um, after that, if I'm still bored, um, I'm trying to, um, I'm trying to, um, to do something like, um, scanning or, um, um, searching on Google, on, in the Google. Yeah, another thing that if, um, um, I'm still feel bored that uh, I need to, um, I will go outside and just take a walk for some time. Okay. okay. So when I am bored, I uh, check various kinds of news on the internet, right? Sometimes I watch videos on YouTube or when I, uh, or I go and meet my friends, right? Yeah. Okay. And uh, as far as the news is concerned, you can say that I watch news regarding science section, finance section, art section, okay, crime section, yeah. space science, okay, uh, shares and debentures, stock market. You can use everything, everything that we have discussed, okay. You can do that when you are bored, okay. Yeah. What kind of things are boring for you? Um, well, things that are boring for me, um, um, it's not all the time, but when I am um, just, um, if I um, um, watching television, but it's not a kind of um, um, uh, what you call but if it is not a good um, show, I feel boring and um, if there is nothing else to do. Okay. So uh, suppose that I'm watching TV and the show which is uh, coming there is not very interesting, so I am bored. Okay. Okay. Or I'm sitting in an office meeting. So it can be boring at time. Yeah. Do you think that youngsters get bored too often? Um, in my opinion, um, youngsters, um, youngsters get um too bored. Um, gets too bored. Uh, um. Um, often, often, um, because um, this age level, uh, they're at their age level, um, they always want to go outside and meet meet their friends, but um, meet their friends and um, this uh, in this time a millennial at, in the millennial age, um, um, youngsters are. Um, very, they are very, um, um, you know, they are itchy in their feet. They always watch, uh, they always wa walking around with the, with, or hanging around with their friends. Um, um, but now I think they've, um, they, um, but now these days it's not allowed to go crowded place and they're, they're, 
um, there is of, limited because of COVID nineteen pandemic. Yeah, um, um, because of this COVID nineteen pandemic, um, the time is limited, and also the um, the area is con there are areas that are constricted. So I guess um, youngsters are are feeling worried nowadays. Okay, good. Yes, so you what? Uh, you can, uh, instead of youngsters, sometimes you can say younger generation as a synonym. Mm -hmm. so you brought the COVID-19 pandemic in your answer. So that's very good. Okay? Okay. 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 Another part one question for you. Have you ever tried foreign food? Um, it's an interesting question. Um, this is um, okay. Um, this is a very interesting question that I want to share. Also, what I have experienced and I have tasted um, a foreign food. For example, like uh, for example, I tasted foreign cuisine. I want to share an experience when I tasted foreign cuisines. Okay. Okay. Um, when I tasted the food, um, the foreign cuisine, the I feel because the is one cuisine, and you have not named the cuisine. So the you cannot use before taking the name. You have to say foreign cuisines. Okay. Okay. I have tasted for foreign cuisine, like for example the um, Korean food, Korean cuisine. Okay. Um, this um, the name of the food is kimchi. It is a very good taste, and the spicy the the spice of the food is um um is tolerable. Mm -hmm. And um, the other food that I have tasted, it was um, the um, um, Indian cuisine. Oh. Um, I'm not fan of that food of their um, cuisine, but um, when you when you tasted it, it's um, it's a uh, delicious and it's it is, tasty. It is, it is uh, delicious. It is. It is very delicious and tasty and yeah. that is um, their common food in their place it is a uh, dal okay anything more about uh, yeah and another thing that i another food or another cuisine that i have tasted was the food from um bangladesh um i taste um it's a very um it's a very it's as a, a stream um extremely um good because this kind of food that i have never tasted before and even that we prepared um seafoods but um it's it's a kind of food that um it's a uh, rare that i have never um taste they made um seafood which has the um vegetable on it um along with that they also prepared um um it's a co colored colored um food like i i don't i don't remember what was that uh the name of the food but when you um when you um okay Cuisine is a huh? name of the Bangla cuisine. cuisine is a better word. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That that Bangladesh cuisine was so tasty as well, and um, it's so nice to um, to prepare prepare by myself when I have time. What kind of okay? Uh, are you fond of trying 
new kinds of cuisines? Um, I have, I have, um, I have no idea in cooking. I have no idea in cooking of um, another another cuisine, but I um fun to try to try it and search how to do it, especially the ingredients on ingredients and how they um cook their cuisines. So, um, for example, that I really like to um, to prepare is the the cuisine from um, the cuisine from Korea, as I said, because um, it's uh, it's very rare that I that we Filipinos um, ate this kind of um, cuisine and the ingredients that the, that and the ingredients that are not um, that are not common in our place. Okay. okay. Hmm. What kind of foreign cuisines are very famous in your country? What kind? Sorry, please. Can you please repeat? What kind of foreign cuisines are very famous in your country? Um, well, there are different kinds of cuisine that are very famous in our country. Um, name, naming, um, namely, the cuisine from from um, from India, from Korea, Chinese, Japan, most of our most of the famous cuisine in our country is made in asia um these cuisines are um, um very rare in our country um the people are very excited to taste it especially the spicy foods there are uh, we filipinos are not fun in spicy but um when we Tasted the other cuisine, uh, the other foreign cuisine. Um, we always wanted to to try what what our what what our um, what our um, um, weaknesses in terms of spicy um, food. Okay. Okay, what kind of exercises do you do? Oh, I would like I I um there are different kinds of exercises that I'm doing, especially this um, time of COVID nineteen pandemic. I feel boring when I am just at okay. home. Bored. I'm do I'm bored. I'm, I feel bored when I'm just alone and inside the, at home. So I'm I'm doing exercise like yoga, which can um, uh, uh, yoga that can um, or that can um, that can be relaxed to my mind and to be recuperated and. Um, another thing, I want to I want um, Zumba exercise, which is um, a dance, and you can jive. You I are, um, participate in Zumba dancing. Okay. Okay. Um, I love to participate in Zumba dancing, and when I'm just alone, I just um, imitate in the YouTube. So that I, I I have the pattern on how to do the exercise. Another thing, another exercise is very common. It, it it's um I have I have to I have to go out 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 I have to go outside in our house and do walking. Okay. Um. Yeah. That's 
all that I want to uh, that I, I I did. Apart from this, you can say I do weight training at the gym, running for cardio exercises, right? Okay. Do you think kids should participate in sports on a consistent basis? Uh -huh. Do you think kids should participate in sports on a consistent basis? Um, in my opinion, kids should participate in in sports in daily basis so that they will engage in in the, in the um, so that they will engage to um, to the proper to proper exercise or to proper form of exercise and this can be um, this and th this can and they can avoid um, any um, bad habits that are usually that are common to the children who are not um, um, who are not participating any activities in school such as um, 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 like for example which are very common in our place um, the the smoking um, addiction drug addiction to the kids and I think that kids should be um, engaged so that they will gain more good moral education and this can and this is um, the way that when they grow up they are um, trained as um, a human being, they um, as a human being, they have a good lead leadership and have a better future. Yes. Okay. So kids should participate in sports on a consistent basis because that supports them in maintaining fitness, in being more active. Right? They would remain away from bad habits such as smoking, drinking as they grow up and in the future they would become independent human beings and succeed in every sector. Okay? okay. They can even become entrepreneurs. They can uh, they can work in the defense sector. Right? Yeah. They can become prime ministers, presidents, advocates, judges. Okay? If they, okay. yeah, if they participate in sports, maintain their fitness, and they can become a sportsman too, right? They can become a sportsman. So sports can be a part of can uh, they can uh, what do you say that they uh, can carry on with the sports and make it their career too, right? Yeah, yeah. And earn enough money for their near and dear ones. So sports can become a career too if they started doing. It from a young age. Okay. Okay. So what was the favorite sport? What was your favorite sport when you were young? My favorite sports when I was young are um, one of um, one of my favorite sports when I was young. Hello? Yeah, yeah, continue. Yeah, okay. Um, one of my favorite sports when I was young. It was um, volleyball. This is um, this is a very interesting game that can give me or that can awaken me, especially when um, I'm playing the ball. It um, you have to be very active in catching the ball so that um, you have the good score. And uh, another. Another sport right. that you I will beat your opponents and achieve great scores. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And another sports that I um that in another and my another favorite sport was um um, um uh, badminton. Mm -hmm. This is an uh, it's a kind of um balancing especially when you are when you are running to another place to one point to another point 
just to catch the uh, the 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 ball of the or the uh, what 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 is the the ball um um the ball for the cork. badminton cork. sorry oh. it's the cork c o r k no cork the yeah. cork oh, of the cork of the badminton it is very um um it's a very sporty game because um as individual you have to um to challenge yourself it's a very in, fast game it's a very um, yeah it's a very uh, a challenging game because it is very fast game and you have to um you have a very good and energy energetic body that um you have to move you have to move fast and freely, especially in touching the cork. Okay. Okay. So you have to run very fast to catch the cork. Okay. Are you fond of extreme sports? Extreme sports? Um, hmm, I can extreme sports um, 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 can I have a question please are you fond of extreme sports um may I ask if what's what stream sports oh, extreme sports means that uh, your dangerous sports such as skydiving scuba diving bike racing uh, okay um, okay. Um, um, stream sports. As I have noticed to myself that um, stream sports is not, uh, it's not. Just give me one second. Okay. Yes, extreme sports are. Okay, yeah. As I have as I have noticed to myself, um extreme sports is not at is are. not my tea of cup. Are. Are not. Extreme sports are not my tea of cup. No, no, are because not my cup of tea. Huh? Are not my cup of tea. You want to say that, right? Yeah, um, uh, Stream sports are not my cup of tea yeah. because I feel nervous every time I am in the uh, high in the um, high level or in the heights or in the water as well. And when I um as I remembered when I was so whenever in, I am high in the mountains or I am down I am at the sea I am very nervous. Um, I am very nervous when I am at the high um, level, like for example in the mountain. When I go to any mountains, high up in the mountains, or we go very how I, I go to the sea. When I go to the mountains or to the sea. Right. Okay. Um, when I Whenever okay. I go to the mountains or near the sea, I am very nervous. Um, whenever, whenever I go to the mountains and or in or, the sea, or near the sea, because in or the near sea, the you can go on a ship, right? Yeah. Or, um. Okay. Otherwise, you go near the sea. Okay. Um, 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 extreme sports are not my tea of cup because. No, not my uh, cup of tea. My but cup of tea. I would give it to you in writing with my cup or not my cup of tea. Not my cup of tea. Okay. Yeah. That is the idea. Not my. Not my cup of tea. Not my cup. What I said. 
Okay. <laughs> I did. What I said. I have sent you on WhatsApp. You can read so that you don't make the. Yeah. Problem. But what I said. You said tea of cup, right? It's ah, okay. 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 Um, um, for me, um, stream sports are not my cup of tea. As far as I am concerned. As far as I, as far, uh, as far as my concern. As, as far stream, as, as far of my, as far. As far as I am concerned. As far as as I am concerned yes. that um, stream sports are not my cup of tea because when I when I'm in the high mountains or in the ne or when near the when I go to the mountains when I go to the mountains or near to the sea or near the sea or near the sea, I feel um, nervous. Uh, but um, um, but I um, I have tried once when I was in um, the university when I was studying in the university. We went with my friends in the um, falls. Um, my my classmates are um, doing um, doing fun to me. And they tried to push me. Ah, uh, they were irritating. Okay, my friends were irritating. My friends were irritating me, and um, um, that time I was so scared, and um, I, uh, I, I said to myself that I won't, I won't not come along with I them again, especially. I informed my professor. I informed my professor that um, that? Um, that I won't not come with them again because um, very especially when they are going especially when going to um, high places or with the with the water um, 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 I feel nervous and very scared. Okay, very scared. Okay. 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 Yeah. So that is why I am not fond of extreme sports such as sky diving, river rafting, scuba diving, etc. Okay. okay. Okay, what kind of exercises are very famous in your country? Mm. Oh, well, the very famous exercise in our country is um, there are ve there are various kinds of um, famous exercise in our country, like for example, the Zumba. Um, um, in at, in any ages can participate can participate in this exercise. Um, they will feel energized and can and they will feel energized. Um, uh, another exercise is um, um, walking. This is uh, this is easiest and um, this is easiest and. And everyone are everyone in our place uh, are very fun in walking. Everyone is actually to everyone is one person. Everyone is everyone in our country is very fun in walking. They um, especially when they are going to school. Um, children are going to school. Um, they usually walk walk and. And when they are um, um, going to work, um, another exercise is and another exercise is um, yoga, um, because this can give another, um, famous another. another famous exercise is yoga. It is very 
common to everyone in the Philippines because um, as, as they are busy in their um, life, um, yoga can give the can give them um, relaxation and um, can meditate their can meditate okay what for dream job we have done right dream job so, we have done huh? sorry dream job we have done we have done dream job Green job, yes, finish. Green job is done. Okay. Okay, just give me a second. Do, do you think pets are important? Do you think pets in are my, important? Uh, in my opinion, pets are important because they like a human being, especially dogs. Because they what? are very. Yeah. Um, because um, in my opinion, um, pets are are important because they are like they are like human beings, especially they are like human beings. How does that make sense? Um, they are like a human being. They have life, especially the dog. If you have to, if you have a good training to the dog, they can understand and they can um, whatever they um, if they will um, train them. If you will train them, they can understand and can follow what your instruction. They are very friendly. So you can say that pets understand emotions, okay? Pets, most of them dogs, they understand emotions, okay? Okay, they understand emotions and if you train them, then they can do many important things, okay? So dogs are trained by uh, many what do you say? Many anti-drug agencies in many companies, many uh, forces in different companies in many countries, right? There are sniffer dogs too, no? Dogs are used in homes. Dogs are used as sniffer dogs too. There are sniffer dogs too, which many forces use, right? To find out about drugs, to find out about uh, about those those human beings who have committed a crime in order to catch them, dogs are used. So dogs are very smart. Okay. Apart from them, there are parrots. Parrots know how to speak. If you teach them, they can repeat what you speak. Right? Okay. 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 Hmm. So why don't you say okay? <laughs> so pets... I don't think you said okay so pets uh, support uh, in support us by cooperating mm, cooperating with us to fight stress pets support us to fight stress okay so which is considered therapeutic they act as great companions then pets such as dogs they offer security to no security is another thing that they offer, right? Okay. Yeah, so can say, see they are pets, but so many things can be said about them, no? Mm. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, 
डू मेनी ह्यूमन बींग्स इन योर कंट्री की पैट्स एट होम What um, kind of yeah. okay. What kind of kind pets? Do they keep? Uh, again, please. What kind of pets do they keep? Do human beings in your country want to raise pets? What kind of pets do they keep? The last, the last word that you made, that you said. Do they keep what kind of pets? Do they keep at home? Okay. Uh, um. Yes, there are a um. Yes. Um. In our country, our um. The, in our country, we usually keep pets in our home because um. Um. Um, I can say that um, we Filipinos are pet lovers, and um, we keep pets at home, especially dogs. They can be our um, they can be our um, guards at home, especially when there are someone that will come. Um, they are just barking, and that is our. Um, our alarm or our um that is our one of um thing that we can notice another person outside the house and and um people people in our country usually um um taking uh, um taking care of pets like in the poultry or in other kind of pets that they want because another because other pets can give um can give a business that um can make a business and can be productive and very lucrative businesses especially chickens and another animal like another animals these um, farms Right, farms. In far farms, mm -hmm. yeah, there are um different kinds of pets that we wanted to take care inside or outside of our house. Okay, great. So dogs provide us security. There are cats, there are birds, rabbits. Then there are chickens which are kept at farms. Right. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Compared with the past, do you think that there have been any changes concerning pets in your country or hometown? In the past? Compared with the past. Okay, compared with the past. Uh, what was your question? Compared with the past, do you think there have been any changes in your hometown or your country concerning pets? Is there a uh, point of view in your hometown changed about pets? Pets? In my point of view, uh, there are there are changes from with the past and this um present days because um the past um the past. The, in the past uh, people in our country they usually um um they usually busy with their um animals mm -hmm. in the they are busy they, they are they were busy in their um in the in their they are busy in their they were busy in their pets that ha that can give them um that can give uh, um that can be profitable mm -hmm. um like for example the chicken pigs 
um, carabaos, ka, um, cows, and etc. that can be very helpful to the um, to their lives. And compared to these days, um, they are not only keeping pets that can give um, a good um, a good businesses, but also they are they are fun of um, um, they are fun of um, di different kinds of um, breeded dogs and another other animals dogs. and different breeds of dogs different breeds of dogs and um, other kinds of animals that the, uh, that is very um, amazing to their um, very amazing. that are very amazing okay so in the previous era right citizens in my hometown used to keep more chickens and pigs on their farms in the present era they keep various kind breeds of dogs and even the cats they have started to adopt different kinds of okay. pets okay yeah. hmm. okay What kind of kinds of creatures do you have in your in the farms of your country? What kinds of creatures do you have in the farms of your country? Farms. What kind of creatures? Okay, creatures in our farm. Do you have in the farms of your country? You have in various forms of your country. Okay. Um, as far as I know, that um, there are different people who has um, farm and they have um, different kinds of creature. Special. Uh, they they have different kinds of creature, such as. Creatures. Um, creatures. 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 Creature. Such as. Yes, there is an S in the end. No, more than one creature. Creatures. Creatures. Mm, yes. There are different kinds of creatures in their farm. Um, it, such yes, as. Farms of my country. In various farms of my country. There are various. Um, creatures. There are various creatures in the farm of our country. Farms. Such a, not one farms. Farm. The farms. Okay. In the farms of our country, yes. such as goat. My country, you would say, no? Sorry? My country, my country, you would say. Our, who is the our here? It's only you who is answering. My country, okay. Different, they, there are different various, uh, there are different kinds of um, creatures in the farms of our, if of my country, such as um, goats, yes. um, goats, mm -hmm. this, they can give milk, especially in the morning. We usually, um, we usually, um taking we usually took go, uh, milk from the goat and uh, another creature from goat, is from goats the goat means which goat just say goats from the goats no the, don't say the just say goats from goats yeah. okay um another another um creature is carabao this um this kind of creature is very important, especially in farms. Um, they can help. They can help the people to um, plow the fields, and your work your work will be easier. The another um, um, another creature is 
uh, another feature which is very helpful as well is um, chickens. Chicken. Um, they yes, chickens. So chicken, yeah. Chickens. Um, they. Chicken um, is another feature which is very important. Another animal which is very important is the chicken. Is a chicken. Okay. Another another um, animal an, another animal that is very important is chicken because yeah. it they they hatch eggs that can yes. very yes chicken what chicken and now you are saying they then chicken does not hatch eggs hence hatch eggs then you say hence okay okay um um another another important animals animal that can um that is another important animal in our farms is in our farm is um chicken especially hens they they hatch the eggs. Hens, chicken is the kid hens are the female hens are the females no our hen is a hen you can say okay. is a hen if you want to say they hatch eggs then you say another important animal, another important uh, farm animal is a hen in our farms. Okay, it then it hatches eggs. Okay, otherwise okay. hens are also very important. You start in this manner that hens are a very important too for the farms. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay, so hens are there, goats are there. Apart from uh, them. What other kinds of animals, farm animals that uh, your country has? Apart from hens and goats. Apart from hens and other other animals that I have mentioned a while ago, is pig. Uh, is pig are pig pigs okay. because um. They produce meat, and um, and it is a very. Uh, they produce meat, and this is a very um, common to the Filipinos in um, everyday um, to their everyday um, lives. Okay. Okay. So cows, goats, sheep, horses, hens, right? Pigs, these are mm. important farm animals in your country. Okay. 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 Do you think that uh, these farm animals are very important? Farm animals are very important. Are very important. Um. In my opinion, farm animals, yes, farm animals are very important, especially they, um, especially they um, give, um, um, oh, sorry. Um, farm animals are very important because they, they give our, they provided us our, um, daily needs, especially the hens, the the um, cows, um, pigs. They provided meat. So the hens, the cows would not come. Hens, cows. Okay. Hens, cows, and other other um, farm animal that um, produce meat, and this is and also they can. Um, um, the, and this is all, and this is uh, um, also a, a great, um, great uh, profitable business in our country. Okay, so such farm animals are a source of income, right? Profitable business in my country. They offer profitable business. Most of the times in the countryside. Okay. Okay. Right? Yeah. Okay. They provide us eggs, meat, milk, 
okay and they can be used for farming to okay okay so income they are important for income they are important for improving the economy okay dictionary was done right dictionary was done yes we had discussed the dictionary and writing we had discussed yeah okay transportation what is the most famous means of transportation in your hometown um, well this um the most famous means of transportation in my hometown is jeepneys are jeepneys Okay. It is uh, it it is very accessible because we can found this everywhere in our so in Jeep, our hometown. Okay, that means more than one. So you would say they are. They are very. They are. Um, they are very accessible, and can be found anywhere in our place. Um, also, this the jeepneys can. Um, can accommodate um, can accommodate a lot of passengers, especially when um, passengers um, um, a group of passengers they can um, uh, accommodate the group of passengers and jeepneys is very cheap um, fare. Jeepneys are Jeep, um, jeepneys are very cheap and affordable uh, uh, price fare. Um, this, um, yeah, um, this is uh, um, um, this is our our um, famous transportation in our place. Okay. Okay. Just give me one second. Huh? I'm just coming. Okay. How often do you take buses? Well, it's very several. Um, I took. I take. I'm taking bus several times, especially. I take, I take buses. Or I take. Uh, so, um. Usually, I take buses in several times, especially when I'm going to my work. And also going to, my office, um, going to my office, and it would not come in between. So I take buses many times. Okay. I um, usually I take many buses many I take buses many times, especially when I'm going to my office and back and and back to my home. Um. Every time I'm going to meet my friend in my friends around the city, I use bus. I use bus. I use a bus. A bus. I use a bus. Um. Um. Yeah. The. Um. Okay. Um. Yeah. I use the bus when when we. Um. When we, when I'm going to meet my friend. Okay. So, is driving to work very popular in your country? See? Driving to work is very famous in your country. Does everyone drive to work? Drive to their offices? Oh, okay. 
um, I can say that um, um, people in my country are, are very open to drive going to their work because um, I can say that um, people want to, people want to um, want a I can say that people wants to want to want, want to um to save their gasoline. Uh, um, uh, people in our in our in our country want to save their gasoline, and especially um they prefer to uh, use a public transportation so that they will not have any problem in the parking also um they they can save they can save um petrol as the price the price of oil is increasing um they uh, they think um they are um yeah they are just saving and also they prefer to walk because they think that this is um good exercise okay. as well would you ride bikes to work in the future would you ride bikes to work in the future um I think in the future I'm going to ride a bus. I, I ride a bicycle in the future. So these are bikes, motorbike. Bike. Yes, bike, motorbike. Um, I guess yes. I will ride a bike in the future because, um, in fact, this is my um favorite transportation and um, um i'm planning to uh, buy to buy a bike so that i can use it going to my work and this kind of transportation is is a very good and fastest way to go to work especially in um traffic uh, traffic areas can be um can be Past, can be passed to um, narrow ways easily. That's why I, 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 I in the future, I want to uh, ride, ride a bike. Okay. So in the future, what would, would be the most famous means of transportation in your country in the future? Well, I think in the future, the most famous transportation in our country will be the um, the e-bike or electronic vehicle. Because I can I can see nowadays uh, people are using people are using electronic um, um, vehicle. And this is very rare now because it is uh, it can save time and energy when they are going to one place to another. And also, um, e electric electric vehicle can um, save Mother Earth because of the pollution which save the our, present save, save our biodiversity right? they save our bi biodiversity because as of now there are a lot of um vehicles which gives pollution especially the vehicle pollution noise pollution there are different kinds of um, pollution um that we have nowadays so um in my thinking that maybe in the future um, the e-bike will be the 
or electricity vehicle will be the most um, famous vehicle in the future. Okay, good, nice. Hmm. Okay. Do you prefer public transportation or private transportation? Um, I can say that I pre prefer both because when you use private transportation, it's um, it is um, also it is important also because when you have to when you have your uh, when you are in hurry, you can use your private transportation or your own car. Um, it is easy to and you can reach on time in terms of um, using private well, public transportation is very good as well because you can save um, money and um, you can save money and um, you don't have any hassle in finding parkings parking for your own car yeah yeah um, um, yeah, that's what, uh, that's what my opinion I, in using private transportation or um, public transportation. Okay, good. Okay, how do you go to office today? I go to the office early oh, in the morning. I... I went to the office. Yeah, um, okay. I went to the office um um i went to the office early in the morning i took a bus and i took a bus a, a, a public bus transportation okay so why did you choose that form of transport today i choose this form of transportation because sure. um, I chose. Okay. I chose to use this um, kind of transportation because um, I have my um, because um, here in our place in the UAE we have a we have um, unlimited fare which we use a bus card that you can use in a month yes. and can be saved. Um, it can be save money for fare. So that card we can that card we can use it unlimited on um, any in any buses. Okay, in any bus, any is one, any bus. Any okay in any bus. That card offers us various benefits and huge discounts, right? Yeah. Okay. Is it convenient to take a bus or taxi in your city? Um, I can say convenient. Um, I can say that. Yes, yes. Um, I can say that um, the most convenient. Um, the most convenient um, transportation in our place is taxi. Although taxi is, uh, although taxi is um, um, expensive, but um, you can, um, but you can reach easily and very and fast to your workplace, especially when you are late. I, I I can say also bus is um, convenient, but there are limited, especially limited passengers in this uh, times of COVID-19 pandemics. Um, passengers are not allowed to um, go in the bus. So um, the other option is to take a taxi and it is uh, safe to, to travel and convenient. Okay. Okay. 
Now, part two question for you, right? Describe a short trip that you often take, but you are not very fond of. It. Okay. A short. Describe a short trip that you often take, but you are not very fond of. It. Okay. Short trip that you often. Often take, but you are not very fond of. It. You are not mom. Okay. 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 Your hints are where do you go? When do you go there? Okay. Where do you go? When do you go there? Why do you go there? Okay. And you have to describe that why you are not fond of this trip. Okay. You have a minute to think. Ready? Um, okay. Uh, okay. Um, I would like to, I would like to describe a short trip that I often take. This. Um, uh, that I often take, but it's not my, it, but I don't, uh, I'm not fan of it. I went to, I went to my workplace, which is in the rural area. My office. In my office, um, which is, which is um, a rural area. In in, um, in, 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 our, in between, yeah, preposition. Okay, um, I would like to describe uh, describe a short trip that I often take, but I'm not fond of it. It is um, it is a rural area. I went there because of my. I went there every day because of my. Um, work location because of uh, my work were located. Um, this area is a little bit far from the city where I I live. Um, I took a bus for uh, maybe forty five to one hour. Um, I I don't like to take this the trip every day because of the crowded crowded because of um, crowd the people are um, the people are um, always in the queue because they want to be they want to um, to take the bus every day uh, they want to take the bus every day okay. um, 
Um, I don't like this trip when I got in the bus, but I don't have a, I don't have a seat. Um, from my 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 original place going to the to my work, which is in rural area, it's which very tired. You should use synonyms, which is in the countryside. Okay. Which is what? Which is in the countryside? Uh, you should Which is in the countryside. I I usually um I'm very I usually um um in a standing position that uh, which can um which can uh, make me tired made me tired especially in um especially when I'm in my office my energy is not um um my body is not um energetic anymore but um yeah it my body is not energetic anymore because of my body um, yeah, i i don't think that my body is energetic anymore okay yeah okay my body i don't think that my body is um um energetic anymore because of um um, a short trip, but because uh, short trip, but because you are standing, um, you will feel um, tired, tired. Okay, but so that short um, yeah. trip is very tiring for me, right? Okay. Yeah. My energy is drained. Instead of saying that my body is not energetic, we can say my energy is drained at the end of that trip. Okay. 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 You can talk about the COVID nineteen timings too. That during COVID nineteen too, I have to go to office. So that is not something that I am very fond of, right? Because it mm -hmm. becomes very hard to maintain distances with other passengers. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So during this pandemic too, I have to go to office. That is something I am very frustrated at. Okay. 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 Part three question. Do citizens in your country, do you think that they are fond of going abroad to visit different areas? Um, yeah, absolutely. Yes. Uh, people in my country are very fun in visiting different kind of uh, place, places in abroad. Um, they want to enjoy um, or they want to experience the uh, different um, culture and tradition in, in different places. Um, they want to um, they want to um, they want um, um, they want to um, they want to um, experience like for example the different weather in the other um, country that um, which is not um, happening in our in my country it is um, let's it is the snow people are uh, people in my country are so there are not big mountains in my country so we cannot witness the snow there okay, okay. We there are different, yeah. There are different uh, big mountains in our country. There are no big mountains are not there in my country, so we do not witness the snow there. It doesn't snow, no. In your country, it doesn't snow, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. so you have to say that the mountains in my country are not very big, so we don't witness snow in our own nation. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that is why we go to. You can talk about Southeast Asia, Europe, North America, South America, where you go to visit. Okay. So we go for short trips to different countries with our friends, right? Then many uh, citizens of my country go for education and for jobs too. They keep on visiting abroad, right? Yeah. Okay. How much time do you think human beings should spend on a 
trip abroad. Um. Well, I guess a um, human being spend trip abroad in in many times. For example, um, um, business um, business um, professionals they are usually going to abroad for a business um, in just um, in just a few days. Um, other other people, other human beings are um, they will they will just want to enjoy and um, have a vacation for uh, and visit may different um, different places abroad. Okay. Mm. So it depends. So some human beings, some citizens, people they go for exertions. So they can go for some weeks. Okay. Then there are many others who go for education or for uh, job purposes, right? So they may have to spend more time, maybe years, okay? Okay, so it depends upon person to person. Who prefers? Who prefers? visiting abroad who prefers going abroad the youngsters or the older generation um well in my uh, in my opinion um i can say that both they prefer going they prefer going to abroad especially um i can say youngsters um prefer to go abroad because they want to study in um, in a well-known university uh, in a well-known school and they can um, if they their parents can um, can provide for their studies um, they are willing to um, go they are willing to go abroad and live independently and in the other hand, um, the new um, the old generations are are also want to go to abroad for um, it depends to it depends to what it depends to what their purposes um, can be say in uh, business purposes or can be um, can leave. Um, um, can stay for a living, especially um, if they will gain um, a huge of uh, money. Okay. Okay. So some, as we have discussed before, some go for work, some go to earn money, some go for jobs, some. There are others who go to just visit and enjoy the beauty of our different regions, right, across our earth. Okay, some go to their friends. Okay, so it uh, age doesn't matter whether everyone wants to visit abroad, right? Ah, uh, yeah. Do you think that visiting a country is a better way to know about it? Or reading books about it is a better way. I think uh, the. I think, in my opinion, I think. Um, my opinion, I think, in my opinion, is that's enough. That means that you think. Okay, in my opinion, maybe the better. Oh, what's again? Sorry. Um. In describing the place, you mean? Whether you visit, um, when you go to visit a country or when you read books about it, what is the better way to know about it, gain information about it? Um, in my opinion, I can say that 
both both are are a good uh, both are a better uh, option to get an both information both are good options both are good options because when you are reading a book um, the um, it it says it when you are reading a book you can get information about the place and you and um, the writer on the the writer of the book can um, will give the details about the place and but but if you um and if you will visit to the place it's more um it's more uh it's more um informat it's more good and 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 give you more information it's better okay okay Okay, nothing more. So when you visit an area, any country, it gives you better information. Then what? Um, then you, you will, um, you can enjoy the the. Um, you can enjoy the place and experience a. Um, uh, experience what was written in the book. Okay, so if you visit a country, you know, what happens that you can gain more information about its customs, its traditions, its cuisines, right? its history, you can make new friends, you get a first-hand experience, right? Yeah. You get a first-hand experience. On the other hand, just reading a book, uh, you are just watching pictures or reading about stories written by others. That is a second-hand experience. So the better way we can say is visiting different countries. Okay. 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 okay good practice today. Okay. okay. So what is the news today? Okay. The news is in the sports. Um. Um. According to the sports, um, only um the the Olympic Games. Oh, what did I say? Uh, um, according to NDTV, um, Olympic of one hundred meter champion champion Lemon Marcel Jacobs says that out of action until 2022 he announced that he will not he will not run again until 2022 um, in the, in the, What is happening? The news of yeah, continue. Uh, okay. Um, what is happening now in the COVID nineteen cases? Um, the world coronavirus coronavirus update. COVID nineteen is continuing to spread around the world, with um, two hundred two hundred five million four hundred twenty p. Thousand and three hundred thirty confirmed cases, and four million, uh, four million, three hundred thirty-six thousand five hundred ninety-nine, five hundred ninety-nine deaths across nearly two hundred countries. Um, recorded recorded since China reported its first cases in December two thousand nineteen. The U.S. The U.S. remains. Um, the worst hit country with 37, 000, uh, 37 million 21,914 cases, followed by India, Brazil, Russia, and France. They are the countries has country have the uh, most the most high cases of COVID nineteen. 
they have the most number of cases highest number have, of cases okay oh uh, yeah the most higher number of cases. no they have highest number of cases highest number of cases yes okay um today um in the space space um today is uh, as far as the space science is concerned um as what is it space? as far as space science is concerned i gave you that written in whatsapp did you see oh as far as that is as far as i am concerned no no you have to say as far as space science is concerned as far as science space concerned space science space science concern that uh, today um, space chat will explore that new space including the perceived picture shower mm -hmm. uh, new venus flyby and catastrophic rocket Failure. It was failure. It is failure. Okay. Yeah. I have heard about um about the i have read about the um, the the about uh, this um 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 the the what what all this the the olympic the olympic i forget the term um olympic the player he was banned he, he was banned because of the because of what because of doing because of um um the player was um arrested on suspicious uh, the player was arrested on suspicious suspicious suspicion of child child sex offenses has bailed um the player um The player was um, suspended because of the case or the criminal, the, the criminal, um, the criminal case. Okay, what is happening in the finance section? Yesterday you read more news than today, I think. Finance. Um, okay. I don't, I don't. So you did study too much. Okay, so what is happening in the finance section? The stock market, share market, come on. Properties, investments. What's happening? I don't have. Uh, I don't have. Okay, okay. So you read about that. Okay, what's happening in countries such as Syria, Afghanistan? What about different? Uh, what are different countries doing? International politics. What is happening? What's happening in USA, China, etc. What was happening? Mm -hmm. I don't have, he has I don't have. today, so that is not good. Okay, yesterday you read the news, so you were more confident and he's speaking more about the news. Today you are not saying anything about the news. What is happening in uh, the art section? Oh, I'm not. Hmm? I'm not. I didn't read. 
and then read british spears's father has said that i want to have any say in her property she can keep everything she can keep everything i want have a say in her property okay so what is happening to the environment I don't know how so. Same thing is happening. No, there are forest fires in Eastern Europe, Greece. There are forest fires in Turkey. Right. Then um, is heating up. Where the changes are happening. Right. And in some areas there's too much rain. In some areas there are fires. Okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. Temperatures are increasing day by day, so the situation is not very good for our Earth. Okay. Mm. Okay. Then read the news tomorrow. Today, you haven't read the news. Okay. The speaking practice was pretty okay today, right? Today, um, maybe. What? Maybe. Maybe. Okay. So you should have come twice today. You came once. That's not good. Tomorrow. We we'll try tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Twice. Okay. Try tomorrow. See if in the afternoon if you are free, you can inform me. So we can do two sessions. Okay. 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 And, um. Um, sorry, at around 1.30 in your place? Around 1.30 uh, might not be... Uh, not around 1.30. Uh, we can do it uh, we can say by around 3 or 3.30 at my, in my area. Around 3.30. 3.30, you are in your home? Yeah. Okay.